Yeah. It's time to switch you know, up to the pivot. That legend yeah. is multiple yeah. states. Hey, hey, man. Stay out for my boy. Man. It's time to go ahead and get into yeah. it. Yeah. Play me some pimping, man. Yeah, man. Oh, you know, man. we got our own select brand of pimping that yeah. we play over here at the 85 South Show when we about to go get in work mode. And then Paul Wall came. Yeah. So, so you know, J.O. Wynn been in his goddamn Paul oh, Wall uh, Dirty South bag this week. Let's I already go. know he always cook up something extra special for our guests. You see? Why you keep teasing the shit? <laughs> <laughs> you ain't looping? No, I didn't know. Man, don't let your shit tell why Paul Wall is. It could be your chance. Come on, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, I've been, I've been trying to get down. You know, I manage him on the side. <laughs> He's my only artist. I fuck with him because he so don't talk. a lot of pressure on you. Yeah, yeah. my only artist. I fuck with him because he don't say nothing. Get your ass back in the lab. Hey, play the goddamn music. I know you ain't talking in this moment. <laughs> You get, when you get so talking, I'll sit so I'm fine. Because you talking. I do the talking. If you talking, what the fuck I'm going to do? So we just ain't going to have no pimping while Paul Wall here. You think you ain't going to leave here thinking we just a fucking mystery? Get it together. You got to buy some time. You got to buy some time. Oh, some man, time. play the ukulele or something. <laughs> get the goddamn ukulele out. There you go. At least okay. we got something. Yeah. Okay. okay. This the one I was thinking about putting you on too, Paul. Oh, yeah. yeah. This one we talking about earlier? Yeah. Because yeah. I still had a little yeah. PPP loan money left, though. Yeah. I'm trying to go legit. Okay. Though. Yeah. Clean yeah, money. Yeah. Go on pay that little bit back. Yeah. Yeah, hey, pay it back because they coming. They looking for it. <laughs> they on Shit. Your hands, they bro. looking for it. Yeah. You telling me, like, the tax lady ain't coming to my house yeah. this morning. <laughs> nigga, they were hiring people to work on people PPP loan. Nigga, I said, I'm just going to work for them. So I can go ahead and get my shit out the way. <laughs> no, work can. it off. He's gonna go work it off, yeah. Alright, You find out who's working on your loan and go find Ace. Hey, hey, man, look. Man, since let me we die. got the pimping in rotation. You gonna play the other one or you gonna just ride this one? This is the this is uh Okay. This the substitute pimping. Mm. You know, like when the real pimping didn't be there. <laughs> Hello, class. I'm substitute pimp. I'll be your substitute pimp today. Since your real pimp can be. Oh, oh misbehave. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have to call Roll. All you bitches better be where you're supposed to be. Mm. You know what you're supposed to do. <laughs> you know what you're supposed to do. Roll call. <laughs> Attendance. <laughs> I wonder if there was ever a pimp that was too nice. There's plenty. <laughs> they didn't when they weren't pimps at all. <laughs> <laughs> Can you please give me my money? <laughs> Call me a host. Stop saying my real name. <laughs> Come on. Bruh, you fired today, bruh. <laughs> he usually don't play snippets. I don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> you got nervous. Hey, man. You usually what you got, man. <laughs> hey, hands and shit all sweaty. <laughs> Wondering why the computer fucking up. Won't even give me enough people to do the intro. I was about to tell them who we got in with us today. Because you know, we've been deep in our ghetto legends bag. I had to make four phone calls, <laughs> sit in three Zoom meetings, get called back, send a text, <laughs> then DM somebody on Instagram just for them to tell me to check my DM on Twitter. Had to log back into Facebook, go to my old email. Charge my own phone. Then she called the number that they sent via MSN Messenger. Somebody had to walk past me with a Blackberry and give me the real number. That's how deep we went for this one. We've been working on it. We've been working on it. Everything ain't as easy as it looks. They saw, think I we saw, know that, everything. I, I saw him at the hip hop awards. Yeah. Hey man, you got People you think got we yeah. know everybody. But I had to call around, get hit back, send a few text messages. Well, I almost got shot when I ran the phone. <laughs> <laughs> he had to do it with him. He was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, Paul Wall, he said, whoa, whoa. I said, oh, I want you to do the show. What show? <laughs> what show you talking about? 85. He was like, all right, let's do it. But you know, we get some ghetto legends through here sometimes. It's fun. And today it's is no fun. exception. Now, if you ever been to the South, Dirty South, 
third coast, specifically Houston, mm. Texas. Hello. That whole little now, you ever seen somebody riding by in one of them slabs? With swingers. With the swingers on it. With the big swingers and the Vogue. And the Vogue. Pop trunk. Man, man, I got a fifth wheel. Yeah. Four, five cups, fifth, fifth wheel. And talking shit when yeah. you pop trunk. Mm. These hoes can't stand me. Yep. Shitty like a diaper. All kind of little catchphrases with the neon light. Come on, man. This is the same man that told you to get on. your mind correct. Come yes, on. Sir. This nigga fell in love with his money. Come on. Yeah. Come on, man. Everything you get. Automobile wise, guess what he putting on it? Big swingers and vote. Yep, on, man. He the same Correct. motherfucker that came by and told everybody, drive slow. Yeah. Hey, 84 on parking out. Come on, man. He was on That's swingers the then. He done popped up on most of your favorite albums, some of the coldest features. Hello. He the same motherfucker that put the whole hip hop game with diamonds and platinum and rubies and all types of shit. Your grill ain't shit if Paul Wall ain't have something to do with it. Yes, oh, I thought I had went around him and got my shit made, but he had something to do with that yeah. too. <laughs> <laughs> I, hit, I hit Johnny, he was like, let me call Paul. I was like, I got to me and you. <laughs> Shout out Johnny, what's up, baby? Man, you see who it is, man. Come on, man. One of the coldest in the rap game, man. One None only. other than. Come on. Sir! Paul Wall. What it do? Thank y'all for having me, man. Thank y'all for having me. Usually we, we get all the music out the way before we get started. But I saved one. Okay. I saved one song. This the, this the one, you know how you be like, man, I'm with, this the one I'm gonna play. Yeah. J-O-N, I know you just got the pimpin' fix, but could you please, one time, for everybody watching this show, all across the world, play Big Swingers, just one, just one time. Okay. Just yeah. one time. Cause this song, if you listen to the verses, they was prophesizing in this shit. Chameleon that said you can find me in the truck that rhymes with rent me that starts with a B. Yeah. They ain't had them. Yeah. Right. They ain't had them. It was 15 years later before they even start thinking about making a truck. <laughs> yeah. I think that's where they got a lot of their engineering ideas from. They could have took care of us, you know what I'm saying? Like, look at some a discount or <laughs> something. You know, a discount on the mulling the packages. <laughs> I don't know something. Now see, I wanted to, to feet. I wanted yeah, to hold man. that one. Yeah. I wanted to hold that song. Because for me, this is where it all started. At. Yeah. Get your mind correct. You're one of the coldest duos to ever come up out the South. So cold, even Pimp C himself <laughs> said, hey, get off the boo-boo, man. Yeah, yeah. Legendary yeah. moments in hip hop, and you find yourself being right there around all of this shit. When did you start fucking with rap music, Paul Wall? Who was that your introduction? Well, definitely my introduction was the Screw Tapes. You know, right when DJ Screw was making his mixtapes uh, in, the, in the early 90s, you know, that was my introduction. I was born in 81. So there was all type of hip hop we would see on TV. Mostly on TV, it's mostly was East Coast music that we see mostly on the radio. We'd mostly hear West Coast music because it was programmed from, you know, wherever their mother station was on the West Coast. Some. And you know, on the mixtapes, that's where we would hear like local music or Texas music or Southern music. You'd hear East Coast music on the screw tapes too. You'd hear West Coast music. We used to hear Above the Law, all type of, you know, all type of Biggie, other stuff, you know, that you would just jam on the screw tapes. But that's really where we would hear Southern artists and Texas artists. So that's where I fell in love with everything they talking about. It. You know, when, you, when I would hear artists from New York, I'm a little kid. I hear them talking, I don't know what they talking about. They slang different than our slang. So what they call police, what they call shoes, what they call car, all of it is different than what we call it. You know, what they call their neighborhood or their block or whatever is different than what we call our blocks, neighborhoods, all that kind of stuff. Same with the, the West Coast. You know, we had a, a little similarities a little bit, you know, but it was like, man, the only place where I, I heard people speak of my language was on the screw tape and they, 
talking to me in the language, same language we talk, you know, everyday language. And they talk, they talk about neighborhoods and streets that I know that I, we could go drive down right now. Or, you know, they shouting out people that I might not know them, but they like street legends or somebody that you see. But, I, you know, I'm a little kid, so I wouldn't know them, but it'd be like, oh, that's what they talking about right there? Yeah. You know, you so you hearing real people, real life things, real stories on the music that's validated and you Hold can on. verify. I don't think he know what song I'm talking about. I told you he wasn't outside. Hold on, man. He ain't from the, he ain't from the dirty south. He's from the northern part. <laughs> Way from? <laughs> he from Tennessee, man. They probably ain't get to enjoy this shit like we did. He don't even know. Tennessee fuck with Texas, though. I feel like. Okay. Come on. Right there. Yes, sir. YouTube has no hit. Have to put them up sometimes. Yeah, man. Yeah, big swingers and woes. And love them my money. Yeah. And then, you know, we spelled it funny too with the N and the you know, we, yeah. we spelled it all the way crazy. <laughs> you got to play the regular version. This chopped the screw. We'll be here for 15 minutes listening to this chopped the screw version, <laughs> You gotta put your foot up to the door to get yeah. in there. That's when October, October the what? October the 16th. Facts. That's we when we're going. The Footprint okay. Center. The Ghetto Legends. Arizona. The Ghetto Legends tour. Y'all ready to go back to Phoenix? I've been I ready am. to go back to Phoenix. They it's turned so up much, last time. You already know. Some bad bitches up there. That's, what, that's, that's that show where you said, you know, women coochie be sticking and they be acting like they don't smell it and fly skipped off the stage. Facts. That was Phoenix. <laughs> that was Phoenix. So we gotta recreate another one. It's, it's time back. to go back. Let's do it. Yes. Okay, bet October 16th. All October the hot 16th. Coochies. Come see your boys. Footprint Arena, Phoenix, Arizona. We yeah, live. Yeah. Get on Let This Tour. Get your tickets. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Paul Wall, man. You know, I had Come to drink on, some man. Ciroc with Diddy. Yeah, so okay. I had to play that shit. You know, I got a list of okay. shit. Okay. Get old compliments and shit like that. Yeah. As long as you know how much I fuck with that one. You know, yeah. Sliding in the Impala or some shit on a good Saturday morning. Yeah. Fresh as hell. Old school. You know what I'm saying? A little backwoods smoke residue all around them. We don't even black, black blunt spray no more. Yeah. Once the police told me they smell some weed in the convertible, I was like, I'm through trying. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that spray, though, they don't, don't do nothing but make it stick. Exactly. You just got to let yeah. that window down and let it air out. All your ears be smelling like something yeah. you ain't supposed to smell like pineapples. Yeah. All your whole yeah. smell like sour apples. Yeah. 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 Baby powder. Yeah. 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 Nah. What the fuck is the baby? All I smell yeah, is baby, baby powder in here. <laughs> <laughs> you got some babies in the probably trunk. Yeah, he's human trafficking. <laughs> <laughs> I so we just played the In Love With My Money, man. Tell me how that track came about. Man, me and Camille there was a duo rapping with the Swisher House, freestyling on mixtapes, on everybody mixtapes. We never put our album out. We never had a song on the radio yet, but we just was live on the underground. And, uh, you know, Ron C was working on his album, 
and he put his album out with uh, Mad Hatter and Big Cat, a label called Paid in Full. Yeah. And we ended up signing with Matt Hatter and Big Cat too with Peyton Fool. Matter of fact, Ron C, he had a, man, a lot to do with my career from the jump, man. It's, shit, I met him when I was like 13, 14. I went to church with his mama. You know, his, <laughs> me and his sisters, his mama, his, man, they, we, we, his grandma, we all, you know, I knew them for a long time. His cousin, the one who gave me the name, Paul Wall. Word. Yeah, wow. so, man, shy, big shy. Oh, Ron C taught me how to DJ when I was DJing. Shit, big shout out to OG Run C. But he, he working on his album, and he ended up bringing us over there too to get signed with, with uh, Paid in Full. And he's, of course, he's like, yeah, I need a single from you for my album. So, you know, a song for you for my album. So we like, okay, we, you know, we put together the song. We like, okay, we gonna maybe use this for our album too, whatever. So we use it on both. And it ended up being uh, the one. Shit, it ended up being the one. But we, when we did it, we ain't think that because we picked a super slow beat. The tempo real slow. The hook like 16 bars instead of eight <laughs> bars. The verses is like that two verses. People was doing that though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even back then it was 316s. Mm -hmm. So we had two verses and we remember people saying, oh, they can't play this on the radio because it's not three verses, it's only two verses. Or the song too long or all this. And we like, we ain't care, we ain't make it for the radio. We made it, this is we want to make what we want to make. Yeah. But shit, it ended up working out. Like I say, man, boy, but Greg Street was down here. It was a few people like Mel the Mac uh, in Dallas was playing it. Um, Big Bink, a few people here and there. But when Greg Street came, he he moved back from Atlanta back to Dallas, and he went somewhere like a high school somewhere, and they played it and they went crazy. They turned up. He was like, "What is this? Why they ain't playing this on the radio?" And he just came back to the radio. He made a uh, made a call like that, say, "Man, play this right now." And then just like that, our life changed. You know. It, it had been a few life-changing moments, but like, you know, shit, when when big Greg Street, to Greg Street, man, when, hey, when he made that big homie call, and he ain't know, he ain't, I, we ain't know, I never met him, he ain't do this, like, you just saw you, it, it ain't like, oh, you now you owe me, or it ain't like, oh, yeah, you, you paid me, I'm gonna do this, nah, we complete strangers. And he just did that shit, boy, big shout out Greg Street, man. With the music. Yeah, he, yeah. He just saw that shit was jumping. Yeah, he, he was tapped he in with the culture, with he shit, fucked with like, it, man, yeah. Don't, yeah, that's, that's real. So when did you start feeling the, like the buzz growing just off of that? I always try to like not get caught up in my own hype because some of it's like very local. So, you know, when you're the hottest thing in your neighborhood, that's a big difference than being number one in the country, you know? And I done been there where I'm hot in my neighborhood and you go somewhere else, you hot there too. But that's only two hoods you hot in. You go somewhere everywhere else, they don't know your name. Right. With them two hoods you in, you popping. So you feel like, damn, I'm the shit. You know, and then you go somewhere else and it's a wake up call. They ain't never heard your name. So it didn't been a, you know, a few times like that where I always try to like not smell my own shit too much, just not get too caught up. Well, for sure, that, that, that was one of them times where they playing it, you know, it's two stations in Dallas. They playing it on both stations at the same time. You turn on the radio, you hear it, change the station, you hear it there too. And it might be a community station, they playing it there too. And shit, it, matter of fact, they weren't playing our shit in Houston. Tell that. They start playing it in Dallas, and then they like, man. It was we, Dallas first, then. Yeah. They are like, man, why y'all ain't playing this down in Houston? It's, they from Houston. It's popping out here in Dallas. Why y'all ain't playing it? But it was because Matt Hatter, we were signing him. He worked for the radio station, so he wasn't trying to make it be like no conflict of interest. So he had to let it come from over his head instead of come from him. Like, hey, I got these new artists. He like, okay, let me. He kept telling us, and we'd be like, man, bro, we signed with you so you can play us on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean? Play on the radio, shit. Man, he, 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 he kept telling me. Trust me, man, trust me. Listen, just, just wait. Yeah. Man. And we like, what the hell going on, man? Bro. <laughs> shit. But yeah, that shit, that shit, it, it was definitely something, man, when they when they playing it on the radio like that. But you know, we seen a lot of, especially, you know, where we come from, it's a lot of one hit wonders who have careers forever, but they really only got one hit. That's all you need. Yeah, yeah. So it wasn't, an, I'm, you know, I'm not expecting too much. You know what I'm saying? I'm not expecting, like, even with that, it's like, okay, this is unbelievable. I don't know nobody from my neighborhood who was a professional rapper who made it. So who can I look to to see, to say, this is what I want to do as a job? Or this is what I'm going to do to pay my uh, bills and support my family for 40 years? Yeah. Who can I look to when I'm, you know, 17, 16, like that shit? We got Jay Prince who gave us the blueprint on how to do it, but I don't have no examples. You know, he got Scarface, but to us, Scarface was larger than life. So that was like, 
it might have been Jay Z or Nas or you know whoever yeah. the he was he was already that, yeah out of there. yeah so yeah. it was like kind of out of reach for me to say okay how Scarface did it that's how I'm gonna do it so it was like for for me to feel like I hear my song on the radio or I'm at the car wash and just a random stranger playing my music. You know, and I go up to them and say, what's up? And they're like, who the fuck are you? You know, but they playing my music, you know. So that lets you know that, okay, it ain't no dick riding. They see you and they turn it on. They having all the time. Word. Shit, man, I remember. I remember this shit one time. Man, I, get the fuck off, man. I, I'll never forget, we was in Florida at Star 69 at Roy Jones Jr. Club. Pensacola. Yeah. In Pensacola, Florida. And we down there, me and Camille in there performing. And it's before the show. We there early, we get there early. We at the bar, just whatever. We just chilling, me and my partner Lou Hawk at the bar getting a drink. Dude on the side will say, he say something to somebody else. Man, when Paul Wall coming on stage, man, I'm here to see Paul Wall. He wasn't talking to me, but I heard him. And I say, what's up, man? I'm about to go on stage in like 10, 15 minutes. And he, he was about to steal off on me. Like, who, who is you? What you talking to me for? And I'm like, I'm Paul Wall. You say you waiting to hear me go on stage. And he's still looking at me like confused as fuck. And then I'm like, all right, well, I see you later. You know, I just was like, man, that was, what's going on? Huh? And then I went on stage, came off stage. And when I came off stage, he was like, uh, you know, it, it was different. It hit him then. He was like, man, I ain't know what to say because you talking to me. And he was straight up. He was like, man, I'm going to be for real. I hate white people. I hate white people. So, yeah, he was like, man, so when you telling me you Paul Wall, you my favorite rapper, I ain't know what to think. I'm like, man, how can you be my favorite rapper when it's a white dude talking to me? And you talking about this Paul Wall, man, what? And it was just shit. Hey, now, you, were you the only white rapper <laughs> coming up? Uh, white, like though. in your circle, that. in your area? Yeah, there was, I mean, there was other white rappers from from Houston, but I mean, like in our, our circle, I was probably the only white person that was there. But I mean, you picked a hard ass job, a white rapper. Yeah, but I mean, I, I don't. Shit. Hey, but I will say this. Hey, man. No, hey, I'm gonna tell you something. I will say this. You did a motherfucking good goddamn job of doing that shit. Yeah, yeah man. thank you. You man. ain't never relied on no. You know, thank I ain't you. never felt like I was listening to something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I felt like some, I was listening to somebody who was talking about exactly what they knew, what the fuck they yeah. were talking about. Like. You know, the only the only hardship I had being a white rapper was dealing with white people. You know, white people telling me I shouldn't rap while what you doing, you know, me and me, shit. But that was it, you know, shit. It wasn't, I ain't see no, like, I mean, it's, it's tough to make it as a rapper anyway. Yeah. So if I look at, like, other rappers who make, like, if I look at Slim Thug Journey or Comedian Air Journey, I ain't have it harder than them because I was white. Shit, they had it hard as hell anyway to come up, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, shit, I think that was where the hardships came from, not, like, the color of my sp skin. Also, you know, in Texas, it's a lot of Frenchmen in Texas from Louisiana. Everybody got grandmas from Louisiana. You know, it's a it's a big Mexican and Hispanic population. So, you know, people wouldn't know what I was. Everybody claiming me. I'm I'm mixed. If you mixed, I was mixed. If you Mexican, I'm Mexican. If you from Louisiana, I hear Frenchman. Yeah, you know, you like, so, the, you like the Bruno Mars of the South. Yeah. That's how I was, yeah. yeah Bruno they, Mars can yeah. pass for any Whatever race. Whatever I was, that's what they was claiming me. Because if Bruno they, Mars came out and did the Michael Jackson tribute, ain't nobody going to be like, Man, what the fuck? Like, yeah. All right, Bruno got it. All right, that's his real hair. You know that's his real hair. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boy. <laughs> is he dark? Is he dark? <laughs> made himself dark for the body. Made himself dark. That um, shit crazy. Yeah, man. That shit, though, I mean, it's a journey no matter what. You know what I'm saying? You got to give it your all no matter what you look like. But, you know, I think being that we, we come from a, such a diverse city that I ain't in rapping on Swisher House tapes. Nobody yeah. knew what I was. There ain't no, ain't in me and come in there. Okay. How did y'all link up initially? We grew up together. We live on the same street, few houses down. We, I, I knew him my whole life, my whole life, yeah. His parents were Nigerian, so he had a different type of, you know, he had a different accent because his parents were Nigerian, so he had like a more of a proper accent, a lot of people say. So when they would hear us on the Swisher House tapes, a lot of times back in the day, they thought come in there was if they if you say oh one of them white some people would say oh he the white one come in there because he might sound a little more proper or I might sound a little more country you know uh, or whatever but uh, shit so that that threw people out too people always come up to me saying his verses come up to him saying my verses 
Yeah. Because people are always going to link y'all together. Yeah. Y'all yeah. is a dope ass group, man. So when you heard Pimp C like, call y'all out about yeah. the fallout, man, what, what was your initial reaction to that? Man, he, him and, shout out to E-40 and Pimp C, they the, the, the two main people that was from the jump telling me and Chameleon, they're both telling me and telling him and telling both of us on three-way. Shit, y'all are tripping. Y'all need to get back, to, you know, not get back together or that, but just squash the bullshit because it's money to be made. It's a time limit on the money you can make. Yeah. The money you missing today, you can't make it back tomorrow. You either make it today or it's gone. Shit, y'all both done made a bunch of goddamn money. Yeah, They had yeah. shit to do with rapping, like, really yeah. took this shit and made it a business. He in the tech world doing yeah. all kind of shit. Yeah, man, he need to let me hold something, man, yeah. shit. Yeah. Come here, yeah. got that real money, yeah. man, yeah. shit. Yeah. So forget Paul your Wall more, man. That, what's up, man? Paul Wall got that real yeah, money. Man. Yeah, but yeah. shit, come here, got that tech money. Yeah, yeah. I man. got that I got that jewelry money. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Y'all hey, ain't back when them PPP loans run out, that jewelry <laughs> money run out. Man. That tech money ain't going nowhere, yeah, shit. Shit. Well, last time y'all did something together, some work, anything. It wasn't show. too long ago. We see each other. We did a show together in Houston on uh, the House of Blues like a couple weeks ago. It wasn't. It was uh, with Three Six Mafia and me and Camille in there. And she yeah. was live. We, we just say every now and then we'd, we'd do something. Yeah, it ain't all. Uh, it ain't over. It ain't. Yeah. Uh, it ain't ka uh, ka kaput. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We might every now and then we'll do a song together. Camille is very picky though. You know, he don't do a lot of videos. You know, so he, it'd be his thing too. It'd be like, man, he don't want to do the video. I mean, he don't want to do the song if he can't do the video. You know, everybody doing videos for every song now. Uh, but she, you know, for your boy, he might come. He, he might come out. You know, hop in the video. But that's my boy, man. We still doing shit. We might make an album one one of these days. Make a part two. You sure. know, shit. We. That would, hey. he, he, you know, with that though. Y'all decide to bless us with it. Right? Mm -hmm. hey, what we doing? Thursday. Where we going October 20. October 20? Minneapolis, Minnesota. We going back. We, we in Minnesota. Back. Don't don't no shit like that. We you know in Minnesota. I mean? We might have to do the continuation of what happened at the mama whooped our ass that, that we whooped your ass. We done, got, we done got a little older. We done got a little older. Yeah. Now we gotta bring okay. it back. Return to get old legend. You excited about Minneapolis? I can't wait to get up there. They were crazy ass there. They, they remember with her. Yeah, That's yeah. when you said that nigga looked like he was still evolving in the hallway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, oh shit, I was about to say November, October 20th. Sure did. Hey, Minneapolis, Minnesota. <laughs> At the Armory, just the Armory? It's not called nothing else? No, it's just the Armory. Just the Armory. Just the Armory. All right, but well, we're going to be at just the Armory. That's it. October not 20th. Not just the Armory, just the Armory. The Armory, motherfucker. October 20th, what they said. <laughs> Get your ticket. Hello, everybody. My name is Carlos Miller, and I just came to spread a little black love because I hope you're having a good day because this is a good day scent that's black love. Since I love you so much, I want to give you my discount code, my personal discount code, and go and get 25% off. L-O-U-S. Kind of look like love if you write it fast. But if you use my code, you'll get an additional 25% off if you go to the Good Day Sense website and buy you some of these dope ass candles. Man, that shit really do smell like black love though. Like after black people been holding hands with some cocoa butter on. That's love. Use my personal discount code so you can get you some of these nice ass candles. And have a good day with a good day scent. 25% off. L-O-U-S. Black love. One of my favorites because I love you. And you're black. Even if you're not black, the code still works. That's the beautiful part about it. It's crazy. I'll see you next time. We came up together as a group. You know, it was association. When you associate me with him, him with me. So it was like that group association. And then when we split apart, it was, you know, a journey for both of us to shed that identity of that group. We, I had to make a new identity of Paul Wall, not Paul Wall Camino, but just Paul Wall. And he had to make a new identity of Camino, not Paul Wall Camino, but Camino. Shit, and we did that for a long time. And then when we, you know, when Pimp C said that in the rap, that was like the nail in the coffin for us to squash our shit. Like I said, he didn't talk to us beforehand plenty of times of, man, man, what's up with this and that, you know, just, Big bro on us, you know what I'm saying? Giving us that perspective of 
I don't care who wrong, it don't matter. You know, like, find a way to squash this shit, get over that shit. You know, what are we mad about? You know, did we fuck each other gal or something? Did we, you know, kill each other cousin or something? Like, what are we really mad about? Okay, it ain't nothing we can't forgive. Well, what's stopping us? You know, we don't want to wait till somebody, one of us die, and then we, oh, my brother, you know, all that kind of shit. So he really, you know, showed us that. Then when he put it in the song, you know, everybody else already was, everybody before that was on some messy shit with me and Camille now. Like, you know, drama, y'all beefing messy. Ooh, Camille said this, Pow said this. Hey, what you gonna do with, you know, the, just messy shit. When PMC said it, it was on some unity shit. So yeah, I feel like once she said it, it yeah. like you said, it that, can't it can't be beef no more. Bro. That activated everybody who was a fan to come up to us and say, "Yeah, man, y'all need to get back together." Instead of shitting on, you know, he coming up to me, shitting on him, coming up to him, shitting on me, you know, being messy. Yeah. That activated everybody. Yeah, man, y'all need to get back together. And we did. We did a reunion tour. We did, you know, a bunch of music here and there. We just never did, a, like, another group album together. But, shit, you never know. We might, man. I'm 100% open down. You know, that's my bro. So, shit, All right, man, I definitely will be down. I don't, I don't know. Come in there. When he, whenever anybody asks him about it, he always say, you know, he talk about when we put Get Your Mind Correct out, it was 2002. So that's 20 years ago. I'm man. You think we're not sitting here waiting on Outcast reunion? I don't give a fuck yeah. when they say it is. Hey man, yeah, yeah. He just, you know, he got. We, we're, our styles are a little different than they was back then, and right. we didn't. Grow, since we didn't grow together as a group, and we grew separate, us coming back together, he just, he don't want to tarnish our legacy of. You know, it's just how y'all speaking, of, how y'all think, you know, of us now, shit. Right. So what what we well, come with? Y'all gotta at least do one more album so we can have the argument. Yeah. Shit, two better than one. Yeah, yeah. Right. I fuck, man. Fuck, yeah. You fuck with one. Yeah. We're hard. We're hard. But two? Give what that nigga said at the end. Yeah. I'm a, oh, I'm a, man, I'm a, at least, at least I'm, one more for the great I'm debate. A, I'm going to make an album and make it halfway and just leave it open verses in case I die. That way it'll be, it'll be ready for oh, right <laughs> Don't speak Put that, it in my will, come yeah. in. I got to fill in the second verse yeah. on the third song. <laughs> no, hell no. Stay alive. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. You, yeah. Shit, you be popping up everywhere, man. Every time some shit happening, we, Paul Wall is there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. man. What's yeah. one of your coldest hip-hop stories, man? It's a few. You know, I, uh, we were talking about Drive Slow earlier. Yeah. That's a hell of a story for me, just from start to finish, from meeting Kanye West, even at that time. You know, some people, they could be, never had a song out, never had an album out, you just meet them, and they got some type of energy about them, and you know they're going to be something. You know, it's some people that's just like that. Shit, when, when I first met Kanye West, he wasn't Kanye West that he is now. He was still like, shit, a uh, elite producer, but he wasn't like looked at as how an uh, icon as much as we look at, at him now. I got a theory that he watched this show. Yeah, shit, I, I hope so. I, on the low, because we'd be finding little yeah. shit. I, like, I hope so, yeah. shit. Like, we'll say some shit, then he'll do some shit. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, this ain't no coincidence. We, told, yeah. we said Sway was right. Yeah, yeah. A while ago. Yeah. But then he came out and finally... And then he said yeah. Sway was right. Yeah, Sway was right. Yep. Yeah. He probably do then. Yep. He fucking with it. But yeah, man, he, you know, shit, still, you know, it was one of them things where you, you got a beat from Kanye West. That was like, shit, having a beat from any of the top 10 producers in hip hop at the time. Right. And shit, yeah, I remember. Yeah, he still that nigga. Still, though. yeah. Shit, now he top three, <laughs> you know, top yeah, two, right. top one, or right. whatever shit. But yeah, he, man, even then, I'm, you know, I met him at an uh, event and I ended up making his grills. Just, he was like, oh, you know, we talking about the grills. And he, like, man, I got my shit right now in my bag. I can make your grill right now. For real shit, let's do it. I made his grills. And from there, that was the introduction that like set it all in motion. And shit, then he came down to uh, Texas to do something with Scarface. You made for the... And we ain't charge him, man. Did we, uh, we, we gave, nah, we did charge him, we gave him a discount. Shit, man. Shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. You know, you don't fumble, nah, man. man. Nah, man, You know, fumble, hey, God, hey, you missed out hey, on man. the trucks. Yeah. Give yeah. free shit Who to rich trash motherfuckers. Shit, no. <laughs> Kanye in that same category as Nelly, man. He know he getting free grills for life, shit. Yeah, yeah. So, hey, 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 yeah, if you watch the show, you know your boy got the grills on ice for you, baby, for life, man. You know that. <laughs> but shit, now, nah, man, we, you know, I, I met him. And he was mixing, uh, you know, we brought him his grills because we made them and then when they were ready, he came down to Texas. He was mixing with Mike Dean, Diamonds Off Forever, Diamonds from Sierra Leone. 
and we brought him his grills, and we just, you know, kicking a little bit here and there. Then Plain Pat, who was his A&R, yeah. he reached out to me. He was like, because he had, he had already signed, tried to sign me to Def Jam, but it ain't work out. And he was like, say, man, I see you've been fucking with Kanye. Man, you know we working on his album. We got this beat. I don't, I don't know if he gonna use it. You know, you might do something, he might take you off. You know, just like how everybody getting took off down the, right. shit, that was, that's how it is in hip hop though. You do yeah. something, they take you off. So shit, but at no point did I think he would've put me on his album. Well shit, he said, playing pass, said, yeah man, he uh, working on his album. Shit, give it a shot, see what he say. He said he down, let you get, get a shot. I said, bet. I go in there and spit a, spit a verse in my studio in Houston, send it to him and he said, yeah man, I'm, I'm fucking with it. But well, we want you to come lay it out here in LA. So I go out there to LA. The whole time I'm thinking, ain't no way in hell I'm gonna get on Kanye album. Even, what I'm saying, it ain't the Kanye now, it's the, right. you know, the level one Kanye. I'm still thinking, man, ain't no way in hell he gonna put me well, on his album. Look, well, you one of the biggest features on the fucking album. I mean, album. not in my mind. I wasn't thinking that in my mind, shit, that's the biggest feature for me, shit. They going, Kanye, what? You know, people don't show me love. I don't get respect like that. You know, they show me love when I leave or when you die or something like that. I don't get none of that type of shit. Man, I got allergies, so they don't give me flowers, you know. <laughs> 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 shit, yeah. yeah. yeah but, so anyway. Well, I, why you think this <laughs> shit be happening? You think motherfuckers be like, hey, man, see what Paul Wall gonna do? Like, man. That but, shit crazy, though. But like, anyway, let me, okay, so I come out to LA. I'm still like, it's cool. I'm, of course I'm gonna do it, but I'm do, is this really all a waste? Is he gonna use it? Ain't no way he using this shit. We, we land in LAX, me and my boy Goo. We come down the escalators to baggage claim. Mike Jones had just got punked. Like on the show. On the show, punk. Okay, you gotta say. He on just the recently show. got punk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> on, the, on the MTV show, punk. You gotta say on the show. Hey, why you bringing got, that shit up, man? Yeah, yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa! You got my number. You got my number, man. My kid. Oh, what? Bro, you must still feel some kind of way back there. Nah, Mike, Mike Jones had just got a, a punk. Oh, he got pranked on the show, there punk. There you go. If yeah. we, anybody don't know MTV punk, what? Well, okay, but. So we come down the escalators in LA. This is like one of my first handful of time going to LA. So I'm like, am I about to get punked? Am I here? I'm looking everywhere. Am I about to get yeah. punked? Cause I'm like, man, ain't no way in hell I'm getting punked going back to my hood. They not gonna let me make, make it back in my hood. <laughs> shit, they didn't tell me, say, if you get punked, you better handle yourself like you from my hood. Shit. Oh, y'all playing? I'm gonna <laughs> yeah. Shit, hey. I'll beat the hey. shit out of Ashton Kutcher. Oh, man, shit. I mean, if, if I get punked, I'm going to jail, shit, or something. Or so they gonna ban me from MTV cause I'm gonna tear something up, something, shit. Nah, but, so I'm thinking, I'm, I'm thinking, we come down the escalators, a detective come to me, another detective come to Goo. Goo, my, my boy, my manager. And we like, what the fuck? What they coming to us for? We ain't, we ain't doing shit. We rappers. What, what you doing? What you want? Talk to me about some diamonds or something? So shit, they, he talking to me all kind of like, I'm thinking I'm getting punked. So I start talking crazy to them. They, they LA Sheriff's Department too. You know, we they, they got a history. Yeah, so I yeah, I know yeah. what they capable of doing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit. But at the time, I'm thinking they actors. So I'm shit talking crazy to them. And then finally, the dude, the officer I'm talking to, he like about to lose his shit on me. He about to put me in the car and take me around the corner. And the other officer was like, "Say, man, come, man, look, let's just go. Let's just go." And they just just up and left us. And I'm like, "Where well, Ashton Kutcher at?" Shit, and Goo like, man, you stupid motherfucker, what you doing, man? You talking to him crazy. I'm like, it's an actor, what you talking about? Shit, I ain't gonna talk to no real cop like that, shit, because I know what go down, shit, ain't I'm not gonna, no, shit, I don't want no smoke with no right. police departments, shit. And they say, you know, we made it, and it was like, okay, that's it, no police, no Aston Kutcher, well, well, what happened? You know, shit, and it was, oh, it really was the police. We're like, oh, yeah. shit. Okay, then we go to, we get in the car. We're on the way to the studio. I'm on the way to the studio to lay my verse with Kanye. I'm thinking him and Mike Jones set me up. Set me up to get pumped. They missed me the first time. We pull up at the light in the left-hand lane. The, the driver, this is before GPS. He don't know where the fuck the studio at. He just looking, looking everywhere, man. Oh, there it go. He break off the whole traffic and turn right. Way in the left-hand turn lane. Turn right, just having to be a cop right there. Woo-woo. We get pulled over again right there. I'm like, 
Man, hell no. Nah. This got to be a setup, man. Shit, I'm getting punked like a motherfucker right now. He get him a ticket. I'm like, say, man, my studio, the studio right there, like right there. I'm like, man, can I go? He's like, yeah, I ain't giving you no ticket. I go up in there. I'm like, shit, where Aston Kutcher at? Shit, I done, made it. I done squeaked by twice. Shit. Yeah, man, wasn't no Aston Kutcher shit. Wasn't no Mike. I wasn't getting punked, you know? So, shit, I went in there, did my verse for Dry Slow. Now, this only... It's really part two of the story. Cause my verse for Dry Slow was really the original verse I wrote for Sin Sideways. Mm. Hold on. Hey, what my hip hop historian is at, man? Yeah. Where new Say that shit again? Yeah. yeah. No. My, my verse I did on Dry Slow, I wrote for Sin Sideways. When we first did Sin Sideways, my boy T. Ferris brought me the beat. Sally Williams made the beat, had a big pokey sample. He was like, man, this is a hit right here. And of course we love Screwed Up Click, we love Big Pokey, so I heard that June 27th sample, I'm like, hell yeah, that bitch hard. I write a verse to it, we say, okay, this is the plan, we're gonna get Big Pokey and Lil Kiki on it. My two favorite rappers. Shit, I never did a song with neither one of them before that. I met him, but I never did a song with neither one of them. Shit, this is about to be the highlight of my life. The reason why I started even listening to rap or rapping or any of that was shit. Okay, I'm ready for that. I go in, this is how I used to write my verses. This is what I was telling you earlier, man. This is how I used to write my verses, man. I used to get so, this is before I was smoking. You know, the smoke definitely take you to another level. Even though it's foggy, the smoke will clear shit out for you. Yeah, yeah, sir. That's, man. Why, I be, that's why I smoke. This is the best part of the blunt. Yeah, the yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, that end, the you know, all the residue, that, that residue on there. Yeah, it just yeah. ran down the blunt. Yeah, where else to go? Yeah. But I, this is before I was really smart, man. I go in the studio, and I'd be distracted like a motherfucker, talking, doing all kind of shit on my phone, this and that, whatever, anything. So even the beat itself will just distract me. I can't, I can't keep a tempo because it's just I can't think with the beat going on stop. So I catch one or two lines. Go in the bathroom, go in another room, go in my, really my car. I go sit in my car, turn the car off, just sit there and just write just to the air. The no beat, just write to whatever tempo I didn't, you know, came up with or that I didn't heard from the beat. So that's how sitting sideways was. She give me the beat. Oh yeah, I'm gonna write to it. I get one or two lines together. Okay, I go in the car, write my verse, come back, lay it. T. Ferris said, man, Verse hard, you saying some shit on there. Just like he's saying, just like this, the men every day. Like, man, he like being, you could tell he being careful of his words he's using. He like, man, it's shit hard, but just don't go with this beat. It's just something about it. The way you riding the beat, it's just don't, something about it, man. And I'm like, man, I, I can't lie. You going off on there, but man, we already got to take Lil Kiki off because he's not signed. They, the record label said we can't have two unsigned artists on there. You can pick one. And since Pokey was on the sample, Pokey's on there. We're going to put Kiki on the remix. But you can't put both of them on there. You can't put both your heroes on the song. You got to pick one. <laughs> Shit, so okay, we, we did that. So okay, t said, okay, since I got to write a new verse anyway, man, just write two new verses. Just write two new verses. And if it don't work out, fuck it. And I'm like, man, you crazy. That verse hard. Shit, and he's like, man, it's hard. It just don't, it don't go with the beat. And he was like, man, you know what? It's cool. If you don't want to try it, you ain't got to. And I just seen the disappointment in his eyes. I said, God damn, Phil Jackson done called to play. And I'm sitting there telling him I know the play to call. Scott, I'm Scotty Pippen and him. Nah, I ain't coming oh, yeah, off the bench. Yeah. Shit. And I'm I said, man, you know, I seen that disappointment in his eyes. I said, man, nah, fuck it, I'm going to try. And I went back and wrote two new verses, which you hear for sitting sideways. And that, that verse, I did it first. I said, man, I'm going to keep that in my pocket. Yeah. If, she, if Jay-Z said, I don't need a verse or something more, because I knew I was saying some shit on there. Yeah, I said, man, yeah. oh, if, oh, if it's some shit I got to do, and I can't come up with nothing, oh, we in the studio for, we got 20 minutes, what you yeah. got? You know, and it's, yeah, shit, okay, I'm going to keep ready. that bitch. So when playing Pat say, say, man, I got something for you, and he sent me that beat, I said, man, I think I got something for that. Where that, where that old rap at, man? Let me find that verse. Where that old verse at, man? <laughs> shit. It fooled it out, man, this shit. It went perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Shit. Kanye okay. West, baby, grills for life. Kanye West, grills for life. How fast yeah. you send it back? Yeah, right back, because it was already wrote. Right. You know, shit. Like, damn. And he was fucking with it. So that probably had got on the album, too, man. Yeah. You ain't waste no time. Even then, like... I ain't, you know, I'm thinking, oh, yeah, you fuck with it. But, you know, in those type of, you know, in those days, this is what it mean. Oh, yeah, I fuck with it. I'm using it for a remix. Oh, I fuck with it. I'm using it for a special edition, this right. or that. Oh, right. uh, yeah, yeah, your boy. You know, but I never thought it was gonna yeah, come out. You know, tell 
I, shit, I remember DJ Drama called me and said, say, you on Kanye West album? I said, I don't know. I did a song, but I don't, they might have took me off down there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> shit, they might have took me off down there. I don't know. I ain't going to say I'm on it. I mean, in those days, bro, man, since I was 15, this shit was happening, where you hear somebody go rap on a Switch House tape, and to come back to the hood and be like, man, I killed them boys on the Switch House tape. I killed them boys. And you'll never hear them again on Switch House tape. Right. Or they'll say that, man, what, I went over there and wrecked them boys. The, how, did, how did motherfuckers end up on the Switch House tape? Ass Watts. Just ask, all you got to do is ask Watts. Yeah. Shit, Michael Watts, shit, old Ron C. But man, ask Michael Watts. He was, man, all about showing love. Shit, first time I rapped on Switch House tape, I was already working for the Switch House. I was 14, 15, doing promotions. So I'm passing out flyers, putting posters up. You know, I went from doing that to pressing up CDs. Matter of fact, that's how I met my boy T. Ferris. We was both 17. We pressing up tapes, pressing up CDs, delivering tape CDs. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Doing his thing boy. Man and shit. I, I came up, I seen Michael, I'm putting up posters in a, a record store. And I see Michael Watts, he dropping off Switch House shit. I say, hey, Watts, let me ask you a question, man. How come I ain't never heard Slim Thug or Switch, anybody Switch House rap on a Manny Fresh beat? I used to love Manny Fresh, still, man, love Manny Fresh. November 12th. What? Chicago, Illinois. What? Come on, man. Going back to the shot. Come on, man. We're going to the shot town. We're going to be at the back Wind the Trust shot Arena. And I trust that the wind will be there November 12th, because it's going to be back November in Chicago. Chicago, man. I'm going to get there early. It'd be hard as hell to get into them Chicago mm -hmm. theaters. No cap. Yeah, 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 you got to park at the other theater to get into one theater. But yeah, hey, man. make sure you there November 12th. What? Return of the Ghetto Legends Tour, live in Chicago. Y'all been we saying we got to come back to man. Chicago playing, man. for the longest. We coming back on what? phony. When y'all coming back to Chicago? On phony, we coming back. Hey, 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 don't say nothing they say up there. We don't know what that's so I mean, we don't? No. We didn't say it. Don't, don't say it no more. All right, well. All right, November 12th, we're going to figure out what we can and can't say in Chicago at the Wind Trust Arena. Yes. It's a lot of shit. Don't we probably him. can't wear all these bright ass colors. Nah, no, you just can't we wear the black. Can. Yeah, you can't wear your hat to a certain degree. Well, I wear my shit to the front. On him. So you. Hey, what's up? It's your man Carlos Miller. Sunday, November the 5th, we will be at the Neil Blaisdell Arena in Honolulu, Hawaii. Me, DJ d Rick, Esther Koo, DC Young Fly, and Rip Michaels. Make sure you grab those tickets. Hey, what's up, man? I didn't know you were right there, man. It's your boy, Jack Thriller, a.k.a. Uh, Luke Eyewalker, a.k.a. The Visionary. It's going down in a major way, man. That's right. I'm finally here. 85 South, 85 South, 85 South. We're talking about my new show, New Jack Thriller City, man. I got some of all my famous friends coming through from Music Soul Child, RL, Drew Hill, Delicious. Um, it is we're down in a major way, man, and I need you to tune in. Not now, but right now to Channel 85. Make sure you subscribe to New Jack Thriller City on YouTube. New Jack Thriller City on YouTube. I'm telling you, it's gonna be crazy, entertaining from one to done. I'm even giving out relationship advice. So if you need relationship advice, man, make sure you DM me at Jack Thriller. New Jack Thriller City. New Jack Thriller City, live on Channel 85. Hey, do I have something in mind? Y'all go to commercial. Don't kiss them hoes in the mouth unless you got to. Let's go. That's one of the goats. Yeah. He produced all them fucking albums by himself. Man, that's yeah. what I'm saying, man. Why, yeah. why, ain't got, why ain't no freestyles coming down on Manny Fresh Beats? Yeah. Man, that shit used to kill me. And, I, and he used to say, well, what's your favorite Manny Fresh Beat? I said, the cash money is the army. He yeah. said, he started beatboxing, bum, 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 bum. He used to start beatboxing it. So yeah, that bitch do go hard. If, what would you say on there if you freestyle? You put me on the spot. Shit, I'll keep the freestyle of my life right there and there. That was a rehearsal of my life. <laughs> shit, why well, say shit? What you doing? Come on, let's go lay it right now. Shit, come on. Hopped in that Impala. We went right to the dust bowl, the dust bucket. That's what we used to call the switcher house. Shit, lay that bitch, laid another one. And then you say, where your boy comedian at? Because he already knew us, you know. Right. But in those days, you know, it was like, I think Chameleon Air was more of a favorite, you know, shit. I think, you know, people like Michael Watts, for sure. I think he like, he's like, what Chameleon Air, man? Shit, tell him to come with you, shit. Hey, yo, what's up, Chameleon? What's, where you at, baby? Shit, come over there, did our thing. Matter of fact, but the first two freestyles I did, that Cash Money's the Army, and I rapped on Bling Bling. 
they both got deleted. They got lost. Yeah. So shit would get lost all the time. Right. Hard drive crash, you ain't yeah. back it up, you ain't save it, whatever. You just tell me about yeah. You spill something on it, so oh. shit. So that's how I'm thinking with Kanye. I'm like, yeah, man, he gonna spill something on that hard drive. Something gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna, something gonna happen. Kanye don't do shit and, like that. And, and honestly, before that, he was in the studio with Mike Jones doing something, and Mike Jones didn't use the beat. So when I first met Mike, when I first met Kanye West, he coming up to me talking about, yeah, man, I, you know, I did a beat for your boy Mike Jones, but I guess I wasn't good enough. He liked being sarcastic. I guess I wasn't good enough. I'm going to tell him I'm going to go back to school and I'm going to work hard and maybe I'll make his next album. And I'm like, hey, man, please don't hold that against me. Shit, right. I would love to rap on any one of your beats. Shit. <laughs> and then, then he, he, he kick a freestyle like the right there. Like, oh, y'all ain't fucking with me. Yeah. I'm <laughs> back on, bitch. Yeah. I'm back yeah. on. Drop yeah. that motherfucker tomorrow. Shit. Hey man, welcome back yeah, to the 85 yeah. South Show. Yeah, baby. You know what I'm doing today? I'm getting higher than B's knees. Yeah. I'm right here with my partner, Paul Wall, Clayton English, J-O-N. Yeah. And the whole 85 yeah. South yeah. Show. Yeah, baby. I love this shit, now, man. Now, Paul Wall, you've been on a lot of classic hip hop records, classic songs, period, man. Give me some of your favorite Grills. Paul Wall features. Grills, for sure. Come for on, sure. Man. My poor Nelly changed my life. Yeah. Oh, How did you start fucking with the grill, first of all, before you get to the song part? Man, it all started because I wanted one. Shit, how do you get something cheaper? You work there, you get an employee discount. Mm, Shit, yeah, how do you on. find out what the real price is? You find out who yeah. selling, what the numbers Shit, okay. I was already doing promotions, street promotions, passing out flyers. That shit is the easiest shit in the world. Pass out flyers, put flyers on people's cars, pass them out when they coming out the club. I'm 14, 15, shit. You think I ain't gonna pass out some pieces of paper to get in the club? 21 and up, hey, yeah, I'm in that bitch. Yeah. Shit, they like, how you get in there? I'm like, yeah. shit, I work, yeah. right. DJ shot me out, I, I just got off doing it. Like, <laughs> man, shout out Wicked Cricket, man. My boy used to shot me out, man. I was hella too young to be in there. That shit show me love, man. But, you know, I mean, that's how it was. It's, it's somebody came from New York crime. He came with a removable style. Before that, we ain't know nothing about no removable style. Yeah, you gotta have permanent. permanent. Yeah, yeah, you gotta have permanent. You gotta go to a hood dentist and not a dentist, but a hood dentist. Yeah. Shit, and them motherfuckers is permanent. They're not coming out of They coming out. Your shit. teeth coming out with yeah, him. Yeah, so <laughs> shit, when he came with that removable style, we like, is this some beauty shop shit? You know, the wig, you go in the wig shop, they got the $10 little whatever. Yeah. Nah, they ain't the wig. He got on there, okay, New York style. We already knew, we ain't never been to New York, so we like, man, we knew watching Wu-Tang and shit, like, okay, they grills is like a little different. Is this like what Wu-Tang got? Because we were watching in the Wu-Tang in the video. Yeah, man, man, how they take their grills real. out? Yeah. You know, how they even got their grills like right. that? That shit blew our mind. So we like, okay, that's what's just, just going on. But everybody was scared to be the guinea pig, the first one to get them. But, you know, one day I'm passing out flyers, and he passing out flyers. And I say, and he say, oh, you the one passing these flyers out? Yeah, and I say, you the one passing these flyers out? Shit, I'm trying to get a grill. He trying to get me to pass out flyers for him. I'm trying to get a grill. So we, shit, I say, look, I'm, man, I want a grill. You ain't got to give it to me. I'll buy it. Just give me the wholesale. I don't care. I'll, get, I'll work it off. Shit, I'll work it out to you, because I know what I'm capable of doing. I ain't afraid of no hard work. Yeah. Shit, if all I got to do is pass out flyers, yeah, them motherfuckers gonna be gone today. I ain't yeah. throwing them in the trash. I'm gonna find a car to put them on. And I ain't talking about find a car just to waste. I'm gonna find a car who's a potential customer to put them on, yeah. you know, shit. And that's exactly what happened. He shit, his phone started blowing up. He said, man, you got to come work for me. Shit, I said, bet, I want some grills. He said, okay, man, bet. He gave us a wholesale on the grills. I said, man, can I get my boy in on a deal too? Come in there. Bet, come in, did promotion too a little bit back then. So we both started working for him, doing promotions, shit, doing different shit. I opened up, it was a, uh, another shop called Thug City. My boy Coderola, he had a, 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 a shop in, in uh, Trinity Garden City. in Houston, yup. And I was set up, I had a little kiosk in there selling grills. Shit, that was the first shop where I was in there, where it was my shop doing it, you know, where I'm, it was my grill shop. And then from there, Crime, he, he, uh, he rapped too. So he was like, man, look, I want you to do some promotions for my album. If you do that, I'm gonna introduce you to the plug. And shit, that's when he introduced me to Johnny who was making them. Johnny was just making wholesale shit. He didn't have a store yet. And I'd be in there. Me selling grills was only me hooking my homeboys up. 
not making no money, mm. not no entrepreneur. Word. It's I got grills for the <laughs> low. Yeah. And my partner's like, man, where you get them grills? Man, I got you right here. Come Word. on. We're going to muck you up. It was all just hooking my partners up. Yeah. And that leads to, say, I got a cousin. I got a partner. I got somebody else who wants some. Okay, now we're starting to make some money. Because right. I don't know them. So, shit, right. I'm going to yeah. give them a deal. But, shit, I'm going to make a little money, too. Right. Yeah. You're my partner. I'm, I ain't got to make no money. I'm going to give you the same price as this holocaust. Yeah. Shit, same price. We're going to be shining on boys. They're going to be like, damn, everybody in their crew shining. Shit. Yeah. But that's what all it was, just shit, taking care of my partner. And even with Johnny, I'd be in there. I'd be making so many of my friends' grills. And anywhere I sold Swish House music, anywhere we, anywhere we sold Swish House music, I'm putting flyers down, grills. I'm going to be here next Tuesday. Who wants your order? Call this number, set up your appointment. We going in so random ass cities. Them back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You was already yeah. making them. Already making them, shit. And that's where the money came from, shit. Because, you know, music, it's money in music, but it's money in that jury, yeah, shit. That's yeah, where that yeah, money yeah, came man, from. Man. But, hey. shit, making them grills, Johnny would see me, I'm just... A wholesale client. Your client list long as hell now. But you took yeah. care of the whole uh, Astro. Yeah, man. And we coming back this year, too. I yeah. know we in Atlanta. Hey, man, don't do that. I know we in Atlanta. Don't do that. But we coming back hey, this man. year, too. Yeah. Yeah. We'll give y'all a little problem. But you know, Atlanta was yeah. here. Atlanta we, we, was yeah. on hey, come on. Hey, it went down yeah, to the man, end, you, man. Y'all got us. Yeah, yeah but shit. Yeah. We coming back this year, though. I mean, we getting World Series Grills Part 2 on the boys. What's up? Yeah, he said, man, just go and link up with yeah. the MLB and yeah. just... Ooh, make that part. Make it part of the, of the yeah. package. Ooh, that part. It come with Super the ring. Ball. That part. It come with yeah. the ring. Ooh, that come. Yeah. You get, a, you get a, a ring and some grills when you win. Did Barack Obama shit. get one from? Not yet, but they on ice. I heard, I heard they waiting. Won. Whenever, hey, shit, I got them. Yeah. Barack, what's up, baby? Come on. I'll play at your boy. Uh, Paul. Uh, uh, get him some good. Make him nice stop. Yeah, we'll get him some bottom fangs, <laughs> you know? Shit, okay. Everybody wants some. Yeah, yeah, man. We figured out how to put them shits over the veneers yet? Man, we could do it. I and bet. we do it for some people. But so you know, sometimes it, them veneers <laughs> depend on if you get them. If I'm you get just saying, there's, there's a lot of people out yeah. there got veneers. They but if you got the cheap I don't veneers, want to put too much shit. In if you, but if somebody got them cheap veneers, you know they crack a little easy. You eat a crab and they crack. Oh yeah, you might not want to put no grill on top of them. There's a lot of people I see eating them crab legs and crack their veneers. Shit, watch out. They ain't learned yet. Yeah, yeah, you got to. Yeah, they better crack the crab for the, <laughs> yeah. the meat. You trying to eat it? Yeah. You like you like crab legs more than you. <laughs> I need you got to go all the way back to fucking. You know, Chihuahua, <laughs> Mexico. Yeah, man. Yeah. That's the problem. You get it from the wrong place. Yeah. You gonna go back? This shit ain't even gonna be there no more. Man. No, we never had teeth. <laughs> never had teeth. No. Hey, uh, yeah, that's that shit it. crazy, man. But so you was making grills at 14, had some flyers out, rapping. She living my dream. Shit, what? Getting money? We iced out for the low. Don't nobody know us for the low, yeah. too. They just know you iced out. Shit, right. what? They riding by with your music, bumping in their cars. You couldn't Everything. tell me nothing, man. That was my dream, man. You, 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 went, you still going to school? What, that time? Yeah. yeah. So you was the man in school? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, when I graduated high school in U of, a, U of H, that's when I really was, okay, okay, that's when we getting somewhere now. Yeah. Shit, because I went to University of Houston, but we'd be at Prairie View or TSU or just any other school in the area, Rice, HCC. we go all around, Dallas, Paul Quinn, SMU, wherever, we go to Louisiana, all, all the schools out there, everywhere. So, yeah, so shit, we was HCC getting it. Yeah, shit. oh, yeah. Because that's, you know, that's where our fan base was for the Switch House. Yeah. So, shit, that's what spread it. Yeah. We go anywhere there's a college, Especially if it's HBCU, we go in there, yeah. and if it's a military base, we go in there. Shit, because okay. there's so many military came from Texas, get shipped out wherever, they in Virginia, they ain't here, there, whatever, we go in there to see them. Or they from there, and then they come to Texas, and then they leave the military, go back home. Mm -hmm. So they asking for it, so shit. Anywhere it's a military base, we going, we just popping up. Where they at? Shit, wearing Swiss House shirts, people ask, man, where you get that? Shit, I'm Paul Wall. You Paul Wall? Shit, cause you, they didn't know what we look like, so shit. <laughs> yeah. That shit was the internet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah shit. That, we just popping up. That, that leg work, yeah. shit. You still, you know, you can, you can make it. You can skirt the leg work now, but yeah. uh, man, the stairs. 
You take the stairs to the top, yeah. that's how you get there, man. That's how you get there. If you, if you get knocked down, you can make your way back up, man. Right. I mean, you take the elevator to the top, shit, that elevator out, or you stuck. You stuck right You take the stairs to the top, you know your way back up. Yeah. Shit, shout out to my boy Rich the Factor, man. That's real real hustlers take the stairs. So we were never afraid of that hard work, shit. That's we, one. We pulling Real up. Hustlers take the yeah, stairs. That's shit. One. That's the one. Hey, shout book, out to Rich man. the Factor, man. My boy Rich the Factor say that shit, man. Yeah. What was your first old school you bought? A 1976 Eldorado Cadillac drop top, man. That black on black on black. Oh man, I love that car so much, man. I remember I was so mad I fucked the top up, cause you know you gotta let the handles back before you let the top. I let the top back too hype. Just I'm, I hit the boulevard, yeah, I hit the top. All of a sudden I hear that. Oh fuck, oh, man. man, shit, I done fucked my top up. Yeah, oh, man. man. Yeah, I love that man. That that 76 yeah. Eldorado. It shit. happens to all the great. Oh my shit, there, man. I still got a 77, same thing, I got a hard top. I still, I, mean, I got a few, but I'm saying like in terms of, I had that 76 oh, Eldorado, I still got, got that 77. <laughs> he yeah. know what cars you got, yeah. he gonna try to buy one from you. Don't yeah. say that. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. buying shit. I'm not buying shit. Yeah, yeah, man. From you, man. Yeah, we ran it. We were behind my back, call my mama. No. No. Car owners <laughs> want cars to go to car owners, man. Somebody that's gonna take care of them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. Shit, man. And then like them old yeah, school, especially if they blowing snow. If they got the AC working, shit. You know some old schools ain't got no snow in there. It's all heat, nah, shit. Nah. nah, they play too much. That's torture. <laughs> you gotta ride that in the fall. <laughs> that, yeah, cause that Texas heat on them leather seats, ooh -wee. shit. That big ass motor, Come on, man. hot as a hole. All that glass. Yeah. <laughs> then you got the top down the sun right there. Mm -hmm. This is in the back seat. Come on now. Sponsored in part by Wave Caps. <laughs> it just picked up. We need a Wave Cap sponsorship. Bow Wow, where you at? Shit, we he need the Bow Wow. Bow Wow, for the song. I don't Shit. know if they got, I don't, he got his own line or he just a model there? for him. I don't know about that. I, know. I think they, I hope they hit. I know they still got them though. Yeah, Shit, they, they, in the, they in the beauty shop right now today. <laughs> That's one thing about rap. Still. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex T. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And I got some really good news for y'all. Yes, period, y'all. We are about to revamp our whole Patreon. Yes. We got so much new shit coming soon for y'all. Like, we about to be doing challenges. We about to be doing vlogs. Mm -hmm. We really about to be dropping a lot of exclusive content for y'all. So if one episode a week is not enough, y'all about to get some more content on Patreon. Yes, y'all be saying, oh, make the episodes longer. I need twice a week. Well, this is your opportunity to see us twice a week and also, you kind of get you're gonna get a look into our lives mm -hmm. and know us on a personal level. Mm -hmm. So make sure y'all sign up at patreon.com backslash poor mind. Sign up today. There's different tiers. So if you want audio only, you can just listen. If you want video and audio, we have that too. And also we have a top top tier where you get exclusive access to merch, shows, all that good mm -hmm. stuff. So go to patreon.com backslash poor minds and sign up today. Period. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp, and 85 South listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash 85 South. Hey, what's up? Clayton English. It can be tough to train your brain to stay in problem-solving mode when faced with a challenge in life. But when you learn how to find your own solutions, there's no better feeling. A therapist can help you become a better problem-solver, making it easier to accomplish your goals, no matter how big or small. If you're thinking of giving therapy a try, BetterHelp is a great option. It's convenient, accessible, affordable, and entirely online. Get matched with a therapist after filling out a brief survey and switch therapists at any time. When you want to be a better problem solver, therapy can get you there. Visit betterhelp.com 85 South today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp.com 85 South. Yeah, motherfuckers is, is on their entrepreneur shit, and it's good to see that shit pan out. Like you said, with motherfuckers in the tech shit, you yeah. in the jewelry game. Like, when was your man. first time going out the country on some rap shit? Man, the first time going out the country, man, it might, you know, we've been in Mexico a few times, you know, in Texas. But yeah. if you want to talk about, like, going out the country, like, like overseas going out yeah. the country, shit, I think the first time I went out the country on some rap shit was maybe with the USO doing tours for the military in Baghdad, 
all over Iraq, all over Kuwait, Afghanistan, other parts of the world where they got wars going on and we ain't supposed to know about shit. We, they sent us all over. But it's, you know, since the military, I got family in the military too, so it means something to me. But being that they were such a big part of my career, my success being shit, the soldiers support me, I for sure, like, man, I'm just mm -hmm. to all the soldiers. Yeah, big yeah, salute. All the branches. Everybody. Yeah, man. Thank you for your service. Yeah. For real, real time. Yeah. That shit crazy though when you out there in the active war zone and you stay like we stay in Saddam Palace. You stay next thing you know, you, it's you getting mean? bombed. Why you in there? <laughs> shit. Yeah. yeah. Hold yeah. up. Hold on. Was it supposed to be in there? Yeah, yeah. That's what, that was the barracks. Oh, okay. That was shit. I was about to say. You yeah. stayed in Saddam Hussein. Man, I was sitting on his toilet. Oh, man. <laughs> Go off while I was stuck. I didn't know why I did this. Throw something after this shit. Go off. I know you had to take some Saddam shit, man. Man. Like, I got the crown. Hey, nah, they, they let us know beforehand. They say, hey, man, you got to put the suit on. Hey. Motherfuckers, hey. get out. Get out. <laughs> they let around with the gold chopper. You got the old gold chopper. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't trying to take no, I wasn't even trying to take no nah, sandbags. Yeah, they they, 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 they told, told man, you know, they shit. Yeah, fuck around and pull some shit down yeah. and find the secret room. Oh, yeah. shit. Oh, man. man, they took us to them, to them rooms. They showed us. alien in this motherfucker, they, man. Say, man, they showed us the elevator. Saddam used to take them down to the torture in the torture room. Wow. They got rusted handprints from bloody hands touching it, and they turned, the blood turned to rust. All over the door. They, they call it in whatever Arabic or whatever, like a bloody door or some shit like that. And it's just an elevator to take you down to, to the dungeon. Shit, hey, hey, that they shit might crazy make out there. That part. <laughs> hey, if it's going to be back right there, now. we ain't have shit to do with it. Hey, them detectives going to be back out there. We told you the last motherfucking time. <laughs> Zero in on the shit. diamonds. We can get his coordinates off the diamonds. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Saddam yeah. Palace, that's word. That shit crazy, man. That's, but, a, that's a story. Like, I, I, can't, I don't know. I ain't never heard nobody say that. Now. Yeah, that shit crazy. Now you got to tell us what was in that motherfucker. He had all kind of diamonds and shit everywhere. Oh, all kind just, of shit, just gold. Diamonds, just like well, by the time, you know, by the time we get there, it all done been looted and shit, but they'll show you. Well, around. like like on the, like I'm talking about like on the, like uh, decorations and shit. Like he'll just have diamonds on the wall and shit, like for real, like shit. And like that, Well, but like I said, by the time we get there, it's looted, but you can see where they was at. They be like, yeah, all that was diamonds. And that, that you know, it'd be like, you know, I asked painted black, it'd be like gold plated, but like real gold. Not like it's gold plated, but it's sterling silver. You know what I'm saying? It yeah, rub no, off. No, it be gold. like real gold on the wall. Shit, they shit. Out of them, yeah, they man. They, I'm, but it be like way high up, and he'd have it like written where you know it, it, it was some crazy shit all over. Man, he had he was a motherfucker. Shit, he had some shit going on. He did a lot more terrible shit than. You know, yeah, yeah, that shit was right. that shit. Was, but you know, a few times, you know, been out there. To, Different different uh, trips with the USO, like to Kandahar. One time we was out there in Afghanistan. Shit, we was out there the week later. The boardwalk where we performed at was bombed and was no more. It don't exist today. Shit, but a week ago we was performing there. Put your hands up. <laughs> shit, wow. and now it's no more. That shit was that shit's so crazy. So y'all performing shit. active war zones and it's man, just basically active, hope it don't. Man, we be there. You know, first of all, I hope it don't. There will never be no. I like the any time I'd have been, I've been on like seven or eight of them, but never at any moment was there any fear of safety. Like ever, you won't feel that. You at the top. Man, top flight security of the world, right, for real. Right, yeah, yeah. Shit, they, you think they gonna let somebody do something with you? With, right. When they with you, shit, it's... Right. No, I know exactly what you will never mean. no fear. Sometimes you don't know how far they gonna take you. When we went to Kuwait and we did a show over there, like, we yeah. stayed over there like three days. They was showing us all kind of shit. I'm like, is, is okay? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That they shit. one building, they was like, look. Look at the sign. The sign said you could be shot at any moment. If you go in here. Yeah. I'm like, going over there. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. Hey, you want, they want to say hey to you, but you gotta you gotta acknowledge the sign before yeah. we can let you in. I was like, nah. That oh, shit crazy. That went in there. Now I'ma tell you some real shit. We was in Afghanistan and we went from Kandahar to uh, we flying on a Black Hawk to the middle of fucking nowhere for like hours 
for hours, like long ass time. We in the middle of the mountains in like a little valley. And I'm talking about the middle of the mountains, I'm talking about it's like about the size of from that wall to that wall, and then it's mountains. Shit. And it's a, a, a far like, base. Y'all just flying straight through. Man, yes, we just flying through that bitch. And it's a hell of a little like it's gonna hit. But yeah, you don't know what's about to happen. And then you land, and it's a small ass little base like the size of this room. No bathroom, it's a pipe, a PVC pipe in the ground. That's the shit, that's the, that's the bathroom, shit. And it's about 10 people there, 10 soldiers there. And you see a little hole in the cave, and they're like, yeah, that's where Al-Qaeda or whatever was, was at, or shit, or Taliban, whoever they was fighting. I don't know who they, where they was fighting, that's where they was at. But we cleared them out now, but that's where they was at. We'd be down here just like we are now, and we'd shoot them with this M4 grenade launcher. You wanna try it? I'm like, shit, I don't want them to shoot back, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, nah, 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 ain't nobody in there, nah, ain't no, so they say ain't nobody in there. But yeah, sh so shit, we shooting the grenades into the mountains and shit, like, this shit was crazy. And then my boy, I'm telling you, it, wasn't, it couldn't have been more than 10 people there, bro. And then next thing you know, my boy say, hey, I ain't gonna say nothing, but I'm a producer. And the other dude say, yeah, I'm a rapper. We got a little studio over here in this. You mean to tell me out of 10 people, they had a rapper and a producer? And a studio. <laughs> Studio. What are the fucking chances? And, and, and you in, you, what, what was the country again? What was hey, it? In Afghanistan. What? In the middle of nowhere, though. Hey, you we, in a helicopter had to take What the trailers call? What they call them trailers? Where it's like on a, the 18 wheeler trailers, the, uh, the empty trailer, where yeah, you know they take them uh, and like turn it into like something, or uh, they had something like that. It was one of them, the one of them like 18 wheeler halls. Oh yeah, them like containers. Yeah, them containers. Like the, the uh, container, like how they turn. And into, that like, was a little it was a it was a, was it was, they, it was they so room. You performed in in there. No, nah, no, nah, there we was just doing like a little meet and greet. They were like, okay, we're gonna take you to a couple a couple bases. Shit, uh -huh. to see, you know, and then we did a big show, you know, here and there. Like, at this base was a big, big base, we do a show. This base, big base show, but a couple small bases, they can't get to us. You want to still go on, see them? Hell yeah, I want to go see them. They real heroes. I want to go, shit, be in their presence, tell them thank you. Shit, I don't care if it's one person there. If no, they, one person, we got to go, because that means ain't nobody ever right. wants to say thank you right. or, or to say what's up. So, shit, we, we go do that, we there. And dude say, yeah, I got a studio right here. He, let me, he had a studio in the, tra in the trailer. I hope you did the feature. Of course. What? Right. Hey, hey. hey. Fucking right, shit. Hey. I said, hey. shit. Hey. I all hey. said, hey. I got a studio. I said, hey. you probably made it over here. That shit was hard. Man, he got a, he had, yeah, he had a, a computer, a mic he ordered online somewhere. Some beats that you know how it is when you all come up. Some beats you 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 get from somebody yeah. random on the internet that you don't know who they from and you can't really use it, but you can nah, use I it. Hear that shit. shit, he pulled it up. I said, man, play. I got to write it right. They like, hey, we got ten minutes. This shit, all I need is nine. Shit. <laughs> 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 I got to well, come on with it, man. I got this. I don't even. I don't even know where they at. So if they watching. I'm. They sure they, they watch our show. I guarantee it. they watch your show. Drop so shit, same. hey, drop your shit, man. But we don't want all. We gonna have all the upcoming rappers. That yeah, shit. that was me. That was me. Now. Drop the shit with me on there. That Where's that? We want to hear that shit. Right. Since you left, man. Yeah. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Now, if they lost their hard drive, hey. what if they, what if they shit, what oh, if they spill man. coffee on their hard right. drive? Exactly. Oh, they fucking man. Shit. had to switch locations, had to leave yeah. everything. The motherfucker left a grenade on that bitch. Yeah. <laughs> that was, it overheated. Shit. <laughs> that shit, man. After man. you shot a grenade launch, I know you had to spit a cold burst. Oh, that yeah. Had to be hard. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what the fuck I said. I was yeah. out there with DJ Smalls. DJ Smalls, he, um, Shout out to he DJ did an Smalls. intro. Yeah. He did an intro for him, too. When we was there, he was like, shit. And he was like, hey, man, you know, I don't usually do this without charging people. You know, shit. You know, that was my was popping, too, shit. <laughs> he was getting them bags for that type of shit, but he, he kept it real too. He was like, yeah, I got you. I'm going to talk on there, too. Shit, he, shit. He did some talking at the beginning. Shit, where they at, man? We need to shoot a video to that, man. <laughs> That's hard. That's hard. They ain't let me shoot no grenade launcher. Yeah. They get to blow some shit up. Yeah. yeah they let you. They let you blow some shit up. You had to ride on a tank? On, on the Bradley's? Uh, it wasn't a, it oh, wasn't a tank. Man. It's another thing. It Bradley? Big ass. Big okay. ass shit with a bunch of guns on it that they let you look yeah. down in that shit, but they made sure it wasn't no... Yeah, wasn't nothing really That's going on with you. Yeah, yeah. That shit the crazy. Big motherfucker. Yeah. It was dope. Man, look, the sad part about being over there, the reality, man, is the first time I, we went, and this, out of the seven or eight times I went, this happened three times, where you on an angel flight going back. Well, we'd be in the middle of performing, 
and you see a helicopter like come down, smoking, you know, kick up all this dust and everything, and they leave. And we're like, what the hell going on? You see, not everybody, but a group of people rushing somewhere. You're like, man, what's going on? Something going on. And then they tell you later, yeah, man, somebody just got shot, somebody just got killed, or whatever, this and that. And it's going on. Why are you performing? So they leaving to go protect somebody, save somebody, rescue somebody. That's just surreal as a motherfucker when to, to think that, damn, man, imagine somebody, like, that's a, they at your concert and then they dead the next day. Like, yeah, man. Yeah. So, man, like I said, it happened a few times. Well, you on the flight from Baghdad back to Kuwait and they bring that casket on there with that American flag over it and it's, whoever's in there remains. Yeah, and, and they squad with them. So that's their partner that they've been with every single day for the last how many years or however long. They partner and it's just, you know, it's a, it's, that shit is a, a very, uh, uh, it, it, it kick it back in the gear that it, and there's some real shit going on. This ain't, yeah, it's concerts and we, you know what I'm saying, shooting grenade launches and all that, but it's some real shit be going on right here, man. It, real people, you know, it's, uh, it's some shit, man. So it, it, when you see people though, back in the real world, in the free world, you yeah. know, shit, you see them in the free world, you're like, yeah, man. And they come up to you and tell you, man, I seen you in, uh, in Iraq. I seen you in Africa. I seen you, you know, you like, man, it's like seeing when your partners get out of jail. Yeah. You know, shit, like, damn, you fresh out of lock. You, my partner, you know, like, damn, you was there? Yeah, man, you know, because I don't know. You know, you don't know if they're going to make it out. You know what I'm saying? You don't know if they're going to be fighting their whole life and then they say, you know, they die or, you know, it's, it's a lot going on. That they, a lot of weight they carry when they come back too. So, shit, I, I didn't have partners that, you know, they 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 go a different route and take they self out or do something crazy. You know, they yeah. it's some real shit. So, that shit be heavy, man. Yeah, you know, you shit. You can't unsee that shit, man. It'll take over. You know, like Salute I said, soldiers, man. To, the, to the veterans and, and yeah, you know, the active definitely. soldiers that yeah. are in these active war zones. Hey, man, English Major Merch live right now. ClaytonEnglish.com. Go get you some, man. We got all the HBCU-inspired colorways, man. Go get it. You know what it is. Let's go. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And y'all know who got the most fire merch in the game. 85 and poor minds, of course. Period. So y'all been asking about our rap tees that we had on tour for the longest. Our tour tees and the rap tees. They are both on the site right now available. Y'all go ahead, go to buypoorminds.com and get your t-shirts before they sell out. Yes, and also y'all know it's about to get cold outside and 85 just dropped some fire merch for the women. I'm mm -hmm. telling you, they got that all brown fit, the all blue fit, the red. It's going super, super crazy. So make sure y'all go to 85 apparel.com and get you a fit. I'm telling y'all, it's super comfy. It's airport outfits. You know, a little sneaky link outfit. Mm -hmm. Whatever you need. And I'm telling y'all, they are not restocking this, okay? It's exclusive for this season. So make sure y'all go to 85 apparel.com buypoorminds.com and get y'all merch right now. Yes. Yeah, they rock with us too. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Shit. Y'all need to y'all need to take the 85 South Show to the USO. Shit. Y'all gonna be in Af y'all ready you ready to go to Afghanistan? So they might be in know. Russia or something now. I don't know. I ain't going yeah, they gonna be in Ukraine or something right. now. Yeah. Man, if they in the middle of the war, they ain't gonna wanna laugh at right. you. Right. Like, what now? <laughs> <laughs> Shit real. You ever ran out of bullets? Oh man. <laughs> Hey, they be they be the ones ready to laugh the most some though. Shit. Two yeah. hours over here. Man. They need a break. Huh? Yeah. yeah, that's what it be. Cause I'll be thinking in my mind, you know, shit. Your mind, you like they in the middle of a war. On that war zone. That's all I'm thinking. But all they thinking is, oh shit, what the fuck, Paul Wall doing here? Oh right. shit, you got we got a little, uh, uh, you know, memory of home. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. A resemblance of home. That's crazy. Yeah. Can you imagine you've been in war all day and Paul Wall show up? You're like, Paul What the Wall? fuck? What yeah. Is <laughs> 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 Hey, man, I need some right. sleep, man. Right. I, I just thought I seen yeah. Paul Wall over here. Hell yeah, man. That's what it is. Man. But that's dope as hell, man, when you get to take your crap around the world yeah. just to see people appreciate it. Yeah, shit. I want man, he asked me to go. Me anywhere safe? <laughs> you ain't never go to like Germany or nothing. Yeah, <laughs> like, but we, like they was we just chilling, some, eating breakfast we, and shit, and nothing we safe. We got some, we got some unsafe stories out there too. Shit, yeah, we done been a few places, but you know we keep it light. We don't, we keep a, a low footprint. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I'm saying, well, you, 
you go anywhere that was safe. It was safe, but it wasn't. Yeah, that wasn't a war zone, I mean. Oh, uh, shit, we'd have been a few of them places like, you know, out there like Czech Republic or Paris or Poland or so Germany. They chilling out there like that in the Czech Republic? Man, we, man, we, they, it's some of them countries you go to, like we go to Germany, most people there speak English too. Yeah. They speak two languages, either right. German and English or German and French. Mm, Everybody yeah. there. They think English stupid as hell. They yeah. tell you it's so but stupid. Uh, you go to Czech Republic or we go to Poland, they speak in their language, not English. They just, like in, in America, we ain't speaking Polish. Right. They ain't speaking English in Poland. Right. So we down there, shit. They got the same thing we got going on here. They got rap beef. Man, I'm performing, you know, whoever going before me. He got a blow up doll on the stage talking about another rapper. They beefing. They got all kind of shit going on where they like real diss songs, like shit, shit like that. They got award shows where the trophies are uh, uh, AK clip, shit like that. They got, they got, they hip, man, hip hop what? is around the motherfucking world, man. This shit is, that shit, when you see hip hop have its own life, the seeds that, you know, just, you know, like in, in real life, like how a, a bee will take pollen from one flower to another. And shit will happen, and next thing you know, you know, you got plants that ain't supposed to grow here that's growing here. Right. That's how that shit happened with hip hop, man. It's hip hop around the world. That you'd be like, how the hell did this shit happen here? Shit they don't speak English. They don't know nothing that's going on with hip hop culture in America. Some of them places they do. They be tapped in. Right. They be tapped into whatever's right. going, whatever slang we using, they using. Whatever beats we using, whatever style beats, that's the style yeah. they using. Whatever shit, what, you know, whatever features or whatever, that's the same shit they gonna put. Some of them places they don't know what's going on here, but hip hop is alive and well where they at. Shit. That shit is, uh, that shit is very inspiring to see shit. They buying all you, the slabs in Japan, right? Yeah, I, yeah, they, I see, yeah. man. Shit, save some Cadillacs for us, right? Man, yeah, yeah, what? Yeah, crazy. I'm trying to buy all our Cadillacs now, man. Well, shit. you see how far the game, you know, the hip hop entertainment business has evolved, and you know, it's still, you know, trendy, but trends come back around. Yeah. Man. Like how you see the game, as opposed to when you started, to being where you are now. Man, when we started, it was only a few paths. You know, I look at it like we're trying to get downtown. There's only one freeway downtown, and there's traffic on that motherfucker. So you could get there, but you got to wait. And if you exit off, you probably ain't getting back on. That's how it was if you're trying to make it in rap. And like I said, there's one path. Shit, now you can take the freeway, you can take the feeder road, you can take the tollway, you can take the loop, you can take the streetway, you can take ways to see okay's traffic go this other way. <laughs> so it's plenty of ways to make it now. It's still a lot of cars. And you know, it might be more traffic. If you're taking a direct route, it's gonna be more traffic, but you can get there. So I mean, to me, as a fan of it, I love to see that. Right. And you know, I've always, from the first time I heard hip hop, there's stuff I like and stuff I hate. Shit, that's how it is now. Plenty of shit I hate. But I always there's music. I got a I got a niche. Uh, 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 preference in music. What's some shit you hated back in the day? Man, I don't even talk about it. I don't even do it like that. I ain't, I ain't all trying all to shit on nobody, all but... All 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 okay, all okay, I'm gonna answer that. Anything that ever got played on the radio. Okay. Shit, yeah. on any radio. Yeah, right. Shit, yeah. I, I was under, I'm underground for life, yeah. so if you came from the underground, I fuck with you, shit. Right. But I was anti-mainstream. Right. I always was like this. So even me being successful was like a conundrum for myself, cause shit, I feel like a sellout. Shit, you on mainstream, <laughs> I'm a sellout, man. Fuck this, I'm going back, we going back to the Switch House tapes, man. Shit, we going back, <laughs> shit. Uh, but that's how I, you know, yeah. cause that's what I like, my preference. Right. So even making music and marketing and labels, trying to say this, you know, I'm like, man, the type of music I know that can sell more is not my preference. Yeah. So I've all, my whole life, I needed somebody like T. Ferris to say, say, man, man bro, my whole show right now, it's all songs that I don't like, except for Swingin' in the Rain. That's the only song that I was like, yeah. man, this me right here. But shit, break them off, that's T. Ferris. Say, man, hey, this this the beat right here. Yeah. Shit, this is how I need to go right here. Shit, or, or you know, any of them still tipping, him, him picking that song, picking the oh, beat. Man. Hey, man, just freestyle on that. And I ain't, I couldn't stand that beat. Man, what the fuck, I'm listening to some, uh, uh, violins, do, 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 do. and you listen on a CD, <laughs> on a little CD boombox where if you turn it up past two, it's gonna skip, you know what I'm saying? Because you can't have no bass. So I'm like, man, there ain't no bass in here. It's just do, 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 
doom, 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 doom. I'm yeah. like, well, what is this? What am I supposed to rap on? I ain't no violins. I'm supposed to talk about some orchestra shit or something. I'm like, what am I? He's, man, just freestyle. Whatever, freestyle, bet. Go in there. Shit, man, my, I'm telling you, my old girl, that was a song. He T. T Very coming to me saying, say, I, man, that's, I hate mainstream music and I hate anything that's sexual or female centric. That's just not my, I like street music. So right. shit. And T. Ferris saying, say, man, I know you're going through with your girl. I know you hate making music for girls. You got a lot of girl fans, though, but, man, you got to do something for them. Man, just talk about what you're going through with your girl, man. Just I'm like, man, hell no. That's a corny little motherfucker. I'm not going to do that. Now, I'm telling you, man, people going to feel that, man, because he just there with me so he can see yeah. what I'm arguing with my girl about. He just right. knowing, like, damn, man. You gotta talk about that shit. People gonna relate to that. Okay, bet. I'm, then we do it. Okay, we talk about it. Even shit with my boy Webby, we go down there. I told you, I don't like female centric music. He put on that beat, with Mouse put on that beat, and he say, say, this is my idea for this busybody shit. I got a hook. Uh, Mouse came up with it. Mouse and Webby came up with that, and Lil Fat. And they tell, hey, this is what you need to say on here. And I'm like, man, I ain't finna tell Webby no. So if Webby telling me, hey man, this is what we were talking about on that bit. That's what we talking about. And T Ferris is smiling the whole time. I thought you ain't like making girl music. You telling me that, <laughs> you know, shit. <laughs> and now shit, my shit, and I'm in the strip club for life with that busy body. Shit, yeah. boy. That I was already turning Dallas, but that had me like that put me on another level. So shit, you know, I, I always my whole life, I got a preference of what I like. What I like is Lil Kiki Zero, you know. Fat Pat, Slim yeah. Thug, Rich the Factor, yeah. you know, shit, shit like that. You know, I need somebody to, all right, you know, you got a lot of uh, these ingredients. Let's whip up something. I know how to whip up something together. You know, I, right. I just like eating one meal, you know, one particular meal. That's what I like. I always needed somebody to have that outside input. Man. Oh my God, T Ferris. That's Ferris. crazy, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, y'all did, hey, that's dope. The shit you don't like, but it's the yeah. shit motherfuckers love. The shit, man, but I, I learned that early on from even from In Love With My Money, or even yeah. freestyles, because my favorite freestyles don't be the ones people like, but the ones people like be ones that I be like, man, I, I wouldn't even say nothing on that. I didn't even give a fuck about what I was saying on it. I just said whatever. Yeah. But for whatever reason, sometimes it could be the way you said something. Sometimes it could be you can shot it out of street. Even though I'm talking about the street in Houston, you got the street in Atlanta and Dallas and everywhere else, so you feeling it. Oh, man, talking about this street? Yeah, man, you know, what else? So it, what are the chances? All, yeah. all like, the streets <laughs> is the same everywhere. Yeah. We all from the same yeah, place, man. Right? Yeah. yeah. Damn, man. Paul Walden fell through the trap. Yeah, yeah man. This one, this one been in the making. Yeah, we, we been. We, we having some I legends my, coming through lately. Man, I got an invite in my DM from 2016. I said, God damn, what was I doing? Damn. Hey, five South what Show, Paul Wall, we want to fuck with you come through. I said, 2016. Damn, Paul Wall. God, Who said it? Who said it? Let's see. Let me look it up. Let's see. Can't say it. He know I seen it. I seen the invite last week. That's why I left it. Yeah, <laughs> I seen the invite last week that said, damn, we've been trying to reach out since 2016. Where you at? Yeah, man. Yeah. Shit, I got to come holler up my boy, man. name is crazy. Nah, man. but it happened when it's supposed to happen. Yeah, you know man. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You might have came then. That might have been when we was at the spot we couldn't even really, you know. Yeah, yeah. Get it yeah, all yeah, way, you know what I mean? Nah, yeah. man. Yeah. We yeah, appreciate man. it, man. Where can we find you on social media at? Yeah, man. I'm sure some people watching, they want to authentic yeah. Paul Wall Grill, too, man. For sure, we're still doing yeah, grills. Promo. Yeah, shout out to my boy Johnny. You know, we still got them grills in full effect. Hey. Judy, Johnny, what up, baby? <laughs> but for sure, social media, everybody. Diamond boy. Yeah, Diamond boy. <laughs> What's up, man? <laughs> Hey, hey y'all follow my YouTube, man. Get Money TV, Power Wild, Get Money TV. Already, shit, man. Y'all follow my YouTube, of course. At Power Wild, baby. You know, that's that's where I'm at, man. But that YouTube, where it's at, it's at Get Money TV. Yeah, yeah, I know this your first time stopping through the track. Oh, you gotta come back. Man, y'all gotta let no, your boy come it, back, man. And this time I'm gonna have some for you, man. You know, I brought some for my, for my boy, but I got some, I'm gonna have some for you next come time. On, man. Yeah, shit, man. Y'all got you, yeah, I got you too. Already, yeah, already. Yeah, 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 yeah,